Hey, this is Tim from Harrison Consoles. Today I'm going to dive into the features of the Range Tool. With the Range Tool enabled, click and drag to make a range selection. The most common operation is to delete the audio inside of a range. Press Delete or Backspace and the audio will disappear. Dragging across multiple tracks will allow you to edit them all at once. You can also modify the length of any range selection using the gray boxes at the top left and right. Click and drag left or right to make necessary modifications. If we align our audio to the tempo map, we can enable the grid and magnetic grid modes while editing. Here are some tracks that I've imported into Mixbus. This song was originally recorded live at 180 beats per minute. To change the tempo in Mixbus, I can either create a new tempo marker before the song starts, or right click to edit the marker at the beginning of the session. Once I've done so, I need to lock the first downbeat of the song to the grid. Here's an easy way to go about doing this. Navigate to the Edit Groups tab on the Edit window and activate the All group. Now you can use the Object tool to trim all of the tracks up to the first downbeat and move them into position. I recommend starting somewhere a few bars down from the beginning of the timeline. Once you've got them lined up and have verified that the song is synced to the grid, drag the start of your regions back to their default length. Using the range tool with the song locked to the grid makes it easy to add or remove sections. For example, in this track the artist decided that the last chorus should be twice as long as we originally recorded it. To make this change, I can create a range that includes all of the instruments in the final chorus and copy and paste it accordingly. Let's take a quick look at ripple editing and how it can be applied with the range tool. In this mode, the audio that you add or delete will be reflected in the audio to the right of your edit. For example, if I delete some audio on these two dialogue tracks, ripple editing will close the gap automatically, removing the dead space and keeping both tracks in sync. Similarly, I can move any region and have the audio adapt, which can be good for voiceover or narration. Using the mouse isn't the only way to create a range. When working with classical music, for example, it's not easy to visually separate the audio so we need to listen to make our edits. In this case, we can use the comma and period keys to begin and end our range while we are rolling. In order for this to work, we need the playhead to be selected as the edit point. This means that all of my editing functions, like starting and ending a range for example, are linked to wherever my playhead is on the timeline. If I select the mouse as my edit point, all of these functions are now linked to wherever my mouse is on the timeline. Making a range and right-clicking allows me to view all of the available features, such as playing, exporting, punching, and looping. There is also this useful option, Convert to Region in Region List. Here's a drum recording from a live studio session. The artist mentioned that the song will have a bit of a dance vibe to it, and they want the power of the kick drum to be relatively consistent. While mixing, I've noticed that some of the kick transients aren't very strong and probably won't stand out in the final mix. Using the range tool, I can highlight a solid kick transient and select Convert to Region in Region List from the right-click context menu. I'm probably going to want to have a little bit of variety, so I'm going to add a few strong hits to the region list. I can now use these stronger transients to replace weaker transients in the kick track. This method could also be used for snares, toms, or any other transients that might need replaced in the mix. The Consolidate Range feature can help me clean up edits, like the ones I just made on these drums. I can select any number of regions across any number of instruments and they will be joined into one audio file on their respective tracks. We can take this even further by creating a duplicate playlist of each track we would like to clean up. 
This way we can have access to our original unconsolidated track should we need to return to it later and make a new edit. You can accomplish almost anything in the editing process using both the range and object tools. To make editing even faster, it is possible to use these powerful features in the same tool by using the Smart button. Here's how it works. The object tool retains all of its normal functions, but if you click and drag in the top half of the track, you can start a range operation. This allows us to take advantage of all of the object features. Placement, trimming, fading, all while retaining the range tool functions. I can delete a space within a region, then trim or move my new regions accordingly. Thanks for watching our demonstration on range editing in Mixbus. To get more information on Mixbus and all available plugins, please visit our website at mixbus.harrisonconsoles.com.